So this is, a, a, it's the same phone call where a second student, a second child gets on the phone. A, a little girl by the name of Mia Cirillo, uh, she gets on the phone. Our report last night was with Chloe Torres. Chloe hands her the phone at some point. And so Mia then takes the call and is talking to the 911 operator. And this just shows, again, the continued lack of response, the uh, lack of any kind of sort of way that police forced their way into the room, the fact that they took their time. Another significant thing that happens on this audio is that there are gunshots. We do not air those gunshots out of respect for the family. But again, it all paints a picture of law enforcement that did not respond appropriately, that failed, as officials there in Texas said. And again, this is something that the families have asked for us to play and to come forward with because they need answers. And they say this will help hopefully bring transparency. Take a listen. Hello? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. Is the killer in the building? I'm sorry? Is the killer in the building? Yes, he's still there in the building, so I need you to be quiet and do not open the door until I can reach you. Everyone is as quiet as possible. Stay quiet. Make sure everything stays quiet. The officers are in the room. Are there officers there? Okay, hold on, hold on. Don't do anything. What was that? Officers are in the building, but not open the door until I tell you. And Anderson, you see there, what we did is we put it side by side with, as she's talking to the 911 operator, you see those officers in the hallway. What's so striking was that when there were gunshots in the classroom, you start to see the officers advance towards the classroom. You see them there mm -hmm. going on their body cam footage, but yet it took nearly 30 minutes still before they went into the classroom. And and that that little girl is in, this was a double classroom, that is in the same area with the shooter. She's in the same area. The shooter at this point, it appears, is in the other room. He's in the same classroom. There's a door that divides the classroom. That's open. Mm -hmm. It's room 111 and 112. He appears to be in the other room. Um, at one point, you can hear her she was uncertain if he was even in the room. Mm. She thought maybe he somehow was outside of the room. Tony is now the father of that brave girl you just heard, Miguel Cerillo. Uh, Miguel, I appreciate you being with us. When you first heard that audio of the, your, your brave daughter doing this, what, what did you think? Um, I just broke down. I, br I broke down, um, heartbroken. I had a lot of emotions running in me um i didn't know what to think I, di I didn't know what to think i didn't know what to say um i, I was i was speechless I was, I was just i couldn't i i couldn't say nothing i i was just mad i was mad because now i know why my daughter was so mad and i'm very proud of my daughter she did what she had to do to survive but it took him a very long time just to just to get not only my daughter out, but the rest of the survivors out of that classroom for 77 minutes. I mean, it takes too long. It's, it's too long. I mean, if my daughter and Chloe had the courage to take the phone away from the teacher to call 911 to let them know that they're still alive and they need help, why not one officer jump and said, hey, we need to go in there. They still waited outside for a very long time to get any kids or or to to break the door down or anything they 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 took too long i believe that students even one of the teachers that was shot that my daughter was telling me she would have still been alive a lot of these kids would have still been alive if these officers would have reached that door as soon as they would have heard that phone call did you say that chloe if they would have heard that call did you say that Chloe and, and your was daughter? That? Did you say that Chloe and your daughter got the phone from one of the teachers? 
Yes. One of the teachers who who was shot between, and killed. Yes, be, yes. Between the between my daughter and Chloe, they got they brainstorm and they got the phone and 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 they called nine one one. My they, daughter told Chloe to call nine one one. They they had the presence of mind. They, this is the first time learning this. They had the presence of mind to take a phone from a teacher who had been killed. They had the courage to do that and to call nine one one. Yes, sir. They had the courage to do it, but the officers didn't have the courage to go in and protect innocent kids. Uh, you must be so proud of her. I'm very proud of her. I'm 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 speechless. I'm I'm very proud of her. I tell her all the time I love her and everything. I I mean we were we were inseparable until now, you know, now we we cannot be around we can't be around each other. But I guess since a, a guy, a boy did this to her, she's real angry against every man right now, I guess. I'm not sure. But lately we've been getting closer and closer and closer. And, and I love that we we're, we're our bond is getting back together where it was. And she's trusting me even more. She's been changed by this experience. This is not something that she's just... You know, people think, oh, well, kids can bounce back. This is something you see the impact on, on her still. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every day is a different day with her. Every day, every day we got to wake up and we got to see how she's doing, um, see how she slept through the night because there's night that she's, you know, she doesn't sleep. She won't sleep for two, three days still. There's, there's, There was several days that she wouldn't sleep and we had to stay up with her. And me and my wife had to switch spots and be like, hey, you know, you sleep for a few hours, you stay up with her and we'll switch and we'll keep switching. Did did you ever expect, I mean, when this happened, the horror of that day, did you ever think that we would be here all these months later still waiting for answers, still waiting for an no. actual minute by minute account and accountability? I... I don't. I thought it would have took. I would thought it would have been way faster to to put accountability on somebody.